Shalom, sisters. Shalom, shalom. I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to the Most High. Yeah, how about Hashem? I'm show more like how it's shy. And you know, um, this is going to be a quick, quick video through the spirit. I just wanted to share what a sister told me today. So a sister today told me that, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't give what you don't have. You know, when she sent that picture saying you can't pour from an empty cup, take care of yourself. I was like, what does that mean? And she said, you can't pour. You know, so like she said, you can't give what you don't have. So, you know, being in this truth, being our sister's keeper, um, if you're married, you know, attend to your husband. If you're submissive, if you're a mom, you know, raising up the children in righteousness, being in this truth and moving in the spirit to score mothers, that does not mean neglect ourselves. That doesn't mean don't take care of ourselves. You know, it all starts with the person in the mirror. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, Lord willing, we can practice the fruits of the spirits because we can't we we can't give what we don't have. If we're not being gentle with ourselves, if we're not being loving with, to ourselves, and we're not being patient with ourselves, then how can we be gentle to the next sister? How can we be gentle towards our husband? How can we be gentle towards, you know, if you have kids or children? How can we be loving towards these people around you if you don't even love yourself? So it all starts with the person in the mirror. But in this truth does not mean forget about yourself, neglect yourself. Our mental health matters. Taking care of ourselves matters. You can't give what you don't have. You can't pour from empty cup. We have to take care of ourselves and our mental health. So that just really, really up with my spirit. You know, Lord willing, we can just, you know, take care of ourselves. It's okay to get your toes done. It's okay to get your hair done. It's okay to, you know, have some me time. It's okay to, you know, I, I color in a, um, I have a Bible verse coloring book. My head got me. I color in that. It's okay to do those things to take care of yourself. So, Lord willing, we can just practice the fruits of a spirit and be gentle and loving and calm towards ourselves and all those other things so we can give that to others. You know, because you can't give what you don't have. You know, being this truth does not mean um, forget about yourself. It's not selfish wanting to take care of herself. You know, we got to take care of our mind, our body, and our spirit. And it's truth. You know, so Lord willing, that really that helps anybody because that really suffered my spirit. With that being said, I did a, I washed my hair and did a hair mask today. And I feel good through the spirit. So all praise to the most high. How about Hashem and Hashem like how shy. Lord willing, we can take heed to these things we say. It said in 1 Timothy 4 and 16. And Lord willing, we can just continue to strive to be as blameless as possible. And Ozzy, how about Shema Shai? And continue to stay diligent and keep the laws, the commandments, and move in the spirit to support mothers. You know, I love y'all. Keep enduring. You know, take care of yourself, sis. It's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay. You know, Shalom.